Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys my favorite high-end highlighter. So without further ado, let's get started. Gonna make a good time last a while. Pacing around the mini bar, just reaching up to where you are. I'll take any excuse, take any excuse. Cause when I let my guard down, it's like you ain't even around. I just take the cool. Okay, so first I would like to apologize that my voice is a little bit rusty, that is because I am starting to get sick and I do apologize if it seems kind of like off. But anyway, let us go get started with my favorite highlighter. So over here I have two high-end. The first high-end highlighter that I have is from Becca. This one is in the shade Opal. So this one is a trial size for me and this is more of like my everyday highlighter use if I kind of want to put in a glowy base but not too much because it's kind of like I'm just going out every day so I would always option for this one Becca Opal because it's really really um what's the word it gives you that natural glow so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys I am only using natural light there's no filter there is no effect there is no lighting this is just the natural sunlight is beautiful just to kind of show you guys what it looks like on my face I'm gonna apply it on my nose so I will keep looking this way that because my mirror is this way it seems that I do have highlighter on my nose I don't know why um, that is because I contoured my nose but I don't have highlighter and this one doesn't like give you that blinding effect but it does make your skin look really really glowy so I'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose like so like you can see the difference oh my goodness oh my goodness that is so nice and I'm gonna put it on top oh my god as you can see so of course you're gonna have to blend it you know if you want it to be like pop out like what I have right now use your finger but if you do want it to be like subtle you can like brush it off with a brush or apply it with a brush because if you use your finger it would usually be very very pigmented so that's that I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like up close so as you can see it is very very nice it's very natural and I like it so that is that and my next favorite highlighter is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora glow kit this is my all-time favorite I believe this is about 40 dollars in Sephora so I'm not sure but I'm gonna go ahead and put the price somewhere on the screen so that I make sure that I give you guys the correct price so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like Ta -da! oh my goodness do you see that that is so beautiful of course I always keep the plastic and these are what it looks like they are absolutely gorgeous so the reason why I love this highlighter because for $40 you can get like six like different pigments as you can see it's really beautiful it's really nice and my favorite one is Luna and you're gonna find out later why I love the Luna but first I'm gonna do arm swatches before I apply it on my face so I'm gonna do all six arm swatches and then I'm gonna apply it on my face the first one we have is this one called Eclipse so right here is the opal and I'm going to put Eclipse right beside it. There you go. You can see it looks beautiful. So now let's go to my favorite one which is called Luna. So Luna is kind of like on the white Side, whereas it feels like you have like an icy effect on your face and I'm gonna show it to you later on so the next one we have is called spectra this one is a purple undertone this is really really beautiful and now let's move on to the next one this one is called Helia I just realized I don't know how to pronounce this correctly up to now. I don't know why. <laughs> so this one is Helia H-E-L-I-A. 
I don't know, did I say it right? If not, I do apologize. Don't go for me. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and swatch this one. Alright, so the next one we have is this one called Orion. This is a really, really nice shade if you're going for that mermaid kind of vibe. And now let's move on to the last one, which is this one called Lyra. This one is more of like a gold-like highlight. So as you can see, guys, these are just one swatches with like natural sunlight. I'm not doing any effect whatsoever, but it's so, so beautiful. So now I'm gonna try to apply some of them on my face and body to kind of show you guys what they look like. And of course, I'm going to show you guys the first one. My favorite is Luna. So I'm going to apply it only with a brush this time. I don't want to apply with my hand. Just to kind of show you guys how pigmented they are using the brush. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on my cheeks. So I'm going to apply it. So again, I do not have any highlighter. I don't know why it's very shiny. I think it's because of the blush on that I apply. And let's go ahead. You guys see that oh my goodness it's so beautiful it's perfect isn't it now you guys know why I love this shade it's it's so nice oh my goodness I have to like blend it out so I don't so here I am blending it blending it out so this is what it looks like so beautiful and this other cheek of mine doesn't have highlight as you can see right it's just simple and as for this one it's like BAM oh my goodness <laughs> so like I said highlighter is just like a cherry on top it makes everything look absolutely beautiful let's go ahead and apply the shade Eclipse and I'll do this and tap it and I'm going to apply it on this side of my cheek. So as you can see, it's not that blinding, but because it really, really absorbs to the shade of my skin because my face is kind of like a yellowish undertone. So that's why I'm not really a big fan of Eclipse because it does that. Like it doesn't really give that much of like blinding. So I would say this is for like you know a very subtle kind of highlight if you want that glowy effect but not too much I'm gonna go ahead and apply using my finger right so this is what it looks like and I do apologize for the crying in the background that is my nephew crying again every weekend he does that I don't know why so there it's actually much better if you apply it and kind of build it up with your finger and using a tapping motion it is a little bit better, but come on, this one is the winner. If you want to go for that very dramatic highlight, go for the Luna. But if you kind of want to go for a natural looking glow, you go for the Eclipse, as you can see. And I'm going to show you guys what this Lyra looked like on my body. This is the gold one. And I'm going to use my brush once again. And apply it on my shoulder so not sure if you can really see so here I'm applying it oh my goodness as you can see it's very very nice so to kind of show you guys what it looks like on my body as you can see it's really really nice if you use it as a body highlight and I'm gonna go ahead and apply one more of the color one which is maybe let's go for Orion yeah let's go for Orion I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one on my collarbone just to kind of show you guys bam like do you guys see that that is so beautiful like it is so nice this is what they look like and I'm not really sure if you can see it properly so there you go as you can see and this is without highlight without highlight 
and wood highlight. As you can see, it's really, really, really nice. And this is my shoulder. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going to show you guys. So as you can see, it's really, really worth your money to get this palette because six shade and it's like $40. So yeah, so these are my two favorite high-end highlighter. And of course, I also use drugstore makeup and I also have drugstore highlighter and watch out for that video because I'm going to put that up anytime soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Mwah.